Well, hello everyone. I am Mimi Geek. Welcome to a 10 forward talk. I was going to actually save this till tomorrow, but I decided to go ahead and do an immediate uh, thought. Normally I wait, you know, sometimes several days or even up to a week before I'll do a video on something that I've watched. But I'm going to be honest, I didn't want to do that for this. So I'm going to talk about. Disney Plus is MCU newest uh, animated series, What If. What If is a very special comic to me growing up in the 90s, 2000s. It was, it was always a fun comic. It was the one that, while I was very particular about certain kinds of Spider-Man, Superman, X-Men, there were certain people I was drawn to or certain comic books I was drawn to. And certain writers I was drawn to. What if just always kind of brought in some of the, the very fun stories and changed them up? And and a lot of times, sometimes you'd even get multiple times they'd bring up a what if of the same thing. Just change it up just a little bit with something else. Those were a lot of fun. What it looks like is this series is going to go with right now. It looks like maybe what ifs from the MCU. So that we can look at probably for right now. Obviously, that would make sense. Their, nor their market right now is people who know these movies, recognize these movies. So it makes sense they're going to go with those routes. For now, it makes sense. Maybe they can sprinkle a little in later if it's successful. I, I hope so. This was a very fun episode the way carter gets in the serum and has to have it injected versus steve rogers is not poorly done one of the great things is that i really loved what i was hoping for was the guardian is the one who was narrating the beginning and the ending because that was always a staple in the comic book so i'm definitely thrilled about that so the whole point of the what if is a change in a single choice or maybe many choice. This one was a single choice. The choice was Peggy Carter stayed downstairs and did not go up into the observation. What happens? She wrecking, she sees the person about to do a bomb thing and she's unable to stop it. And Steve comes out of the tube too early and is trying to, you know, want to help, but he gets shot by the um, by the Nazi. And he's injured and they're losing power and everything. And it's pretty much they're trying, they want to get Steve back in, but Carter says, you know, he's not, you know, he can't get in there. And due to being shot, I think he was shot twice. I don't know if both hit. But yeah, that's uh, an obvious risk. She goes in and decides to jump in, not knowing what the hell this is going to do to her. For all she knows, this is going to kill her. And it progresses very... And then that's where everything changes. Whereas we're going from a Captain America, the first Avenger, this is more... She's not called Captain America, obviously. She's British. She's not, she didn't... They didn't call her Captain Britain. Which I thought was a good thing because Captain Britain is a completely different character in Marvel. <coughs> Sorry about that. And it's interesting because Steve is still supportive. They're both they both have a mutual attraction to each other. They both are have feelings for the other. And you know, Steve ends up becoming more the Iron Man of the era, which is quite nice. And the thing is. Peggy is not a Mary Sue. It actually, as she realizes how good she can fight, she's kind of enjoying it and just kind of left. And, you know, kind of like somebody who would, you know, realize and they've got a whole new talent they didn't know, kind of enjoying it. Uh, but I didn't feel it was over the top or anything like that. I thought it was fun. And she, other than the Colonel, who is, I mean, he's there to be a dick and, you know, that's not actually the, the guy's just a dick. I'm going to tell you right now, military experience. Some colonels are just fucking dicks. 
20 years of military experience, trust me, I know some colonels are just dicks like that. But thankfully, everybody, you know, they were rallying around. They weren't rallying around Peggy because she was a Mary Sue. They were rallying, you know, they weren't even necessarily rallying around. They were a team. They showed themselves as a team throughout this with Steve, with Steve Rogers and the Iron Man thing. They, they weren't SJW. They, they complimented each other. I, I saw her as a, as a very strong woman um, in the Super Serum and still, you know, taking care of her, taking care of her people but without, she was never berating them or being a dick or anything like that. So I got to tell you, there it's about 35, 36 minutes long. Uh, very nice ending. I'd like to see what comes next, uh, but I'm going to be honest. Yeah, so far, uh, right out of the box, in my opinion, uh, Marvel's What If is very good. I look forward to seeing the next episode. All right, folks, this is MB Geek. This is my thoughts on What If Season 1, Episode 1 in under eight minutes. Take care, all.